is your super size offer the greatest thing since sliced bread sliced bread great invention that's our idiom for today the greatest thing since sliced bread now there's something i discovered in my travels the greatest thing right now in my opinion since sliced bread is sea salt caramel pecan honey butter on your toast on your sliced bread and if weren't if, if it weren't for i gotta look up his name otto frederick Rowedler, Roweller. Anyway, in 1928, he actually invented sliced bread. He was a jeweler. He had an optics degree, and he was an engineer and inventor. And he came up with and created the mechanisms that sliced bread. Now, I've worked in the bakery industry for about five years and had a lot of experience with breads and slicing and and the whole uh, nine yards. And so sliced bread is still one of my favorite things. Why? Because it makes our life easier. It solves a problem for people. It saves time and energy and helps you to do things with that bread faster. It also creates uniform size things. So all your sandwiches look about the same uh, and things like that. There's all kinds of advantages to having sliced bread. Yet they still sell unsliced bread because some people like to do it themselves and slice their own bread. So what does sliced bread have to do with supersizing and growing our business? I guess I was thinking about today is how I'm building and growing and supersizing my business. Number one, really solving a problem for the people that I'm here to serve. If it isn't, it's going to be a hard sell. It has to solve some kind of a problem or a need or desire that they want in order for me to grow and build and base my business on that. So does what you're offering, does what you're selling benefit people or solve a problem in some way i think if it's what got to be one of the first questions we ask when we decide to go into a business or start a business of our own so in 1928 <clears throat> this actually this idiom comes from an advertisement that appeared in the and again i got to look it up to figure out how to pronounce it chillicotti constitution tribune remember when newspapers had these big long names that's one of them when 1928 they ran an aid for the chillicotta bakery company and their slogan was that they were the first company to sell sliced bread their slogan said something to the effect that uh, the greatest forward step in the baking industry since bread was wrapped so now you know what was considered the greatest thing before sliced bread at least according to this marketer and advertiser back in the early 1920s so and then red skelton used it in a skit and compared television to sliced bread uh, when he was uh, quoted in what a newspaper in 1952 so it's been around my entire lifetime plus uh, I've I've never known a time before sliced bread and probably you haven't either but curious today how do you think this ties into you building and growing and supersizing your business I can think of lots of ways for me because sometimes I make offers that are not that awesome and if we're not offering something that we don't think is awesome other people aren't going to think that it's fabulous and want to take advantage of it either so there's lots of ways to tie it into supersizing and growing our business that's our idiom for today if i can help you in any way hit me up just ask otherwise i'll be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom to tie into this year's annual challenge where this month we're asking a couple of questions every day today was about global law if you could create one global law what would it be and then what is the best thing since sliced bread has been invented, in your opinion? All right, have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.